Hey guys, this is Zinder, and I was playing around with some TNT cannon idea. Basically started off with the Chaos Cannon and thought I'd see if I could make some kind of a super cannon. Now when I originally tried it down here, it didn't quite end up where I wanted it to. However, when I came up here, I basically used MC Edit to take the, the TNT cannon and slide it up. Or more of duplicate it up, that's why you see an exact clone of it down below. Um, basically what happened was, uh, let, let me just fill this TNT cannon up for you. And, and just show you. Whoops. Breaking blocks, though. This is a super flat map generated in single player on creative mode. That's, well, that's pretty obvious, I guess. But, uh, I was just... You know, a lot of people, there used to be all those videos, I don't know if there still are, about the amount of TNT someone can explode without crashing their game. Um, those were kind of nifty to see some of the things that people did, but I, I've never really, uh, granted I haven't looked, I've searched TNT cannon, I haven't found too many results other than a standard TNT cannon. I've never seen anything like this. You see this? These rows, there's 17, I believe... Uh, I actually forget. And it's six wide. And they all drop to the bottom to fire out one piece of TNT. On a timer, the, it could probably be set up a little bit better, but it's not. This does hit the ground. I've tested it and refilled in the terrain. And uh, you can see some of the filled in spots where it, I kind of blew it out. That was actually from a previous test. That was not from this, with it moved up. I fired this once, and I felt it necessary to uh, set it all up and fire it again to just show you guys how ridiculous of a TNT cannon you can make. Now, it didn't come out so well when I tried it in multiplayer. It might have been a design issue. I built it pretty much the same way in this single-player game, and let me just show you this. It's going to be a bit of a delay see all the TNT falling, and it's gone. You don't see it. You never even see it fire off the screen. It's just gone, isn't it? There's no way it possibly fired, because there's no holes anywhere. Let me just go back for a second. This is entirely legitimate. If you don't believe me, I will send you the map if you ask for it, just so you can look. Now, this is it. 1109 and a half. That's where the TNT fired from, right? Now we're going to go in this direction. We're going to follow the path the TNT would have followed. And if it's anything like the last time I did it, you're going to actually see the explosion as I'm loading into the chunk because it actually hasn't happened because I wasn't in the chunk. The moment the chunk loads, you'll see the explosion from the TNT block. And, yeah, yeah, I'm still going. We're not quite there yet. You see that? I don't know if you saw that, but here is the hole. Now, just to give you a number oh, yeah. oh, man. to show you this, I'm pressing this button. And I'm on vent with somebody, I'm sure you probably heard them say something. Um just once though look at that distance 1558 that's 1109 to 1558 that's how far I fired a block of TNT now I just felt the need to show you guys this and that's all I really had to show you if you want a more in-depth look at how the TNT cannon was designed let me know um, if you want the map let me know I'll find somewhere to upload it but, uh, yeah, over 400 blocks. But that's all I have to show you for now, so I'll see you in a different video.